Nutrition. All right, welcome to part two, where I count down um, numbers fifty to forty-one. Let's kick it off. Uh, starting off with number fifty, the Blue Eyes Exodia FTK. Oh, I'm going to turn this off. Um, now this is the only Blue Eyes White Dragon and only Exodia deck that I absolutely hate with a passion. Why? Well, because well, it's an FTK deck, and just FTK decks are just absolute bullshit and really toxic. Um, like, how can anyone enjoy playing these kinds of decks? Like, it's just hard for me to have respect for anyone who plays an FTK deck of any kind. Like, anyone who designs them, builds them, and plays them just clearly seems to only care about winning rather than playing for the fun of it. Um, like, um, like, you're not even using the Blue Eyes monsters. Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon itself to win. You're just abusing it and White Stone of Legend and their draw spells just to get to Exodia on turn one. Um, I, and, and also, um, why is Raw Magical Library still legal? Like, that is the problem card when it comes to FTK decks. Well, most FTK decks anyway. Like, uh, it should have been banned years ago. Um, like, I don't know why this deck hasn't been hit at all, because, like, one of the points of the ban list is to kill off FTK decks, but this one didn't. I mean, you could argue that it can brick and run out of steam, but like I said before, bricking doesn't always happen, and if it doesn't brick, then it's just impossible to beat and stop. Um, I, it's just a bit ridiculous to me. Um, Fuck FTK decks. Seriously. Number 49. Dark World. Like, I've never liked Dark World. Well, except during the period where both Morphing Jar and Card Destruction were banned. Um, well, uh, or at least I didn't have a reason to hate it during that time. Uh, yeah, other than that, um... Dark World is just annoying, like, it's bad enough that they can swarm the field just too easily, but, um, they weren't particular cards that just pissed me off over the years, like, Dark World Lightning being one of them back in the day, where it just popped, um, like, my face down, traps, old vindictives, spies, apprentices, before I'd even have a chance to use them, um, like it was just infuriating, but not as infuriating as the existences of Graffa and Dark Smog. Um, like, Graffa is just an old arch nemesis of mine. Um, like, literally all Dark World ever does is OTK with that bastard. Like, it's just too easy to just set up for it after discarding it, popping a card, um, depending on how many got discarded, then bounce a bunch of Dark Worlds back and attack the game. Um, like, and even if I don't get OTKs, there's still Dark Smog, which is just cheap shot banish card, just banishing monsters from my graveyard. Like, just like that. And, just discarding a fiend afterwards is nothing to give up, like, considering what the deck is all about. Um, 
uh, and it was just so annoying like in the early 2010s and I even remember begging for Graffa to get limited just just to slow the deck down um, but the bastard deck just never got hit even though it was one of the top decks in the meta like uh, during the September 11 and uh, March 12 formats um, like even if it won a YCS um, now it has been said that they didn't get hit because they have a terrible mirror match I mean yeah the mirror match is terrible I don't think it's a valid excuse not to hit an annoying deck. Like, why should non-Dark World players suffer? Um, in fact, why couldn't Morphing Jar and Card Destruction have been banned, like, back then? Because, well, to be fair, I can't put all the blame on Graffa. Um, while it is a problem card, it's only really a problem because of card destruction and morphing jar, like they are OTK enablers for Dark World. Um, and they did get banned eventually though, but that was because of other decks. Like I remember card destruction got banned because of Dragon Rulers and Morphing Jar got banned because of the Jackpot 7 OTK or FTK, I can't remember. So they were indirect hits to Dark World, and I was jumping for joy over this. And uh, uh, Dark World wasn't a problem without them, and uh, you know I didn't have a reason to hate them until they got unbanned in 2018. I was like, no, what are you thinking, Konami? You just gave Dark World back their ability to OTK just to promote dangers. Um, I, I really hate it when Konami just use the ban list for money making purposes rather than, you know, fixing problems in the game. Uh, it's just infuriating. Um, and I have heard that Dark World are getting more support, like, later on at some point, which I'm not happy about. Like, the deck is annoying enough as it is. It doesn't deserve new support. Seriously, like, fuck Dark World. Seriously. Number 48, Scrap. Because it's also an OTK deck. Um, like Scrap Dragon and Scrap Twin Dragon are so fucking annoying. Um, like, especially when the deck has the ability to get multiple copies out and just OTK. Um, like, and I'm not even lying about this. I was once OTK'd by a board of two Scrap Twin Dragons and a Scrap Dragon. It was horrible. Um, it's just in I mean, even Scrap Dragon by itself is just annoying, um, and it saw play outside of Scrap decks, which took me by surprise. Um, it's just absolute bullshit, just uh, popping a card on either side. Alright, yes, Breaksword does the same thing, and I do play Breaksword in some decks, but I can only do that twice, though. And uh, furthermore, it's just easier to stop, um, unlike the Scrap Synchros, like even using a Summon Negation card, like Solemn Judgment does nothing, because they can still bring back a non-Synchro Scrap monster and then just make another one, which is just fucking bullshit, like, they shouldn't work like that, um, purely because they never hit the field. Um, yeah. Um, like I said, not even Solemn Strike, my most preferred form of effect negation, does nothing. Um, 
unless of course I stop Scrap Golem or Scrap Chimera. Um, yeah. Stupid Synchro deck is stupid. Number 47, Magispectors, an archetype full of monsters with targeting and destruction immunity, which means they have fuck all weaknesses. Like, um, and the only ways to deal with them are to destroy them by battle or just uh, bounce or spin them with Storming Mirror Force and Drowning Mirror Force, respectively. Not to mention they have annoying traps which just negate and banish, or just outright banish. Um, it's just so annoying. And this was a horrible pendulum deck. Um, it was just near impossible to beat. Um, and the fact that some effects require them to be tributes doesn't mean anything because they're pendulums and they can just come right back. Um, but to be fair though, like Master Rule 4 and 5 rules I guess did mess them up a little bit. Um, so they're probably not as much of a problem as they used to be, but still a problem nonetheless. Um, I'm just thankful that Kirin is still banned and I just hope that bastard never comes back. Like, that's even worse than Grand Mole. Uh, like, it's Grand Mole on crack. Um, um, I even remember when Poison Winds went up in price because of them, because it's a great way to outright counter them. Um, for those who don't know what Poison Wind is, it's basically this continuous spell which basically makes it so that no wind monsters can be special summoned. Um, and just everyone picked them up just to counter them. Uh, and it was a bit difficult to pick them up myself. But, uh, like I said, when Master Rule 4 started, um, people stopped playing them. Um, I don't know if there are people who do still try and find a way to play them, but um, I'm just thankful that they see fuck all play now all the same. Number 46, Dinosaurs. Um, yeah, basically because Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, Lost World and the Lephosogen exist. Um, which is annoying, as like I used to actually like dinosaurs, but those three cards just outright ruined them for me. Like they're just absolute bullshit to play against now. Um, well, particularly True King Dino. Like um, the Phosigem just really pissed me off. Just summoning it and banishing three monsters from my extra deck. Um, that was just so annoying. And I was so happy when it got banned, but absolutely pissed off when it came back. Um, oh, yeah, Ghost Repo and Silver Rocket Dragon do the same thing, but, like, they only banish one extra deck monster, though. Well, Ghost Reaper banishes multiple copies of one, whereas Silver Rocket only banishes one. Um, but I don't use them willy-nilly, just like that. So I only use those to get rid of extra deck monsters that I hate. You know, um, examples being Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, um, Trap Tricks Mamilio, um, Like There are only a few examples. Uh, basically, I only use them to get rid of monsters that don't let me play. Um, so that's different. Um, now, one person I know who used it claims he only used it to get rid of lightning, but it's like, 
And then I'm like, yeah, sure, any excuse to justify your bullshit. Um, whereas Lost Worlds just made, made it impossible to target anything with things like Fiendish Chain or Breakthrough Skill or things like that. Um, I think only uh, normal monsters or the token could be targeted. I'm not sure. Um, but um, even those two cards aren't as bullshit as Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Um, like, that fucker is far too disruptive. Like, going for this bastard is just all any kind of dinosaur deck ever does. And it's just so annoying. Um, it just ends games too easily. Or just stops anyone from doing anything. Um, just by destroying another monster on field or in hand at any time. <clears throat> um, now, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno or similar monsters are exactly why I still play Regeki Mirror Force and Storming Mirror Force or other battle traps in my decks. Um, whereas other players just don't seem to play them anymore. Because, um, to be fair, I can just outright count up Tyranna with any of those. Although the problem is with Regeki is that um, Miscellaneousaurus can just be discarded to protect it. Again, kind of bullshit. Um, but thankfully, that only gives dinosaurs protection in the main phase. But in the battle phase, they're fair game. Um, so I'm thankful for that at least. But um, yeah, otherwise, Ultimate Conductor's just bullshit. And even that card by itself just ruined dinosaurs for me. Number 45, Bone Tower Dot Deck. Um, another FTK deck. Um, like, basically, it's Mayakashi's, but with the strategy being getting up Bone Tower first, then spamming out that level 2 tuner and their synchros and milling cards out of my deck and just gaming me in one turn. And, uh,. Like, again, this is a cheap, dirty, dishonourable, and disrespectful way to win. Like, uh, like I hate deck-out strategies. They're so fucking cheap! Like, it's no better than a stally burn strategy. Um, like, it's just so cheap and dirty. Um... Now, I don't hate Mayakashi's on their own, but I just do hate Salt Absorbing Bone Tower. Um, and it's funny, because this deck came about um, during the second half of 2018, where lots of FTK decks were running riot, and yet this one didn't get hit for some reason. And I don't understand why. Because, again, like I said, one of the points of the ban list is to kill off FTK decks, and yet this one didn't. Just, why, why, why did Bone Tower not get banned? Like, uh, it's ridiculous. Like, it just pisses me off when decks that should get hit don't get hit. Um, and... You know, it, it just makes me lose faith in Konami when it comes to the ban list and just fixing problems in the game that need to be fixed. Um, hell, this card was even seeing play in the Zombie Horde deck, which was kind of bullshit. I mean, that deck was also annoying enough as it is, with or without Bone Tower. And there's a spoiler for what's coming up later on. Number 44, Tri-Brigades. 
because, well, it's an OTK deck. Like, this seems to be all they ever fucking do, as well as disrupting plays with hand traps like Ash Blossom. And then, of course, they have an annoying Link 4, which has a non targeting banish effect. Like, I can't remember what else it does, but, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. And it just makes high link, high numbered link monsters just too easy to bring out. Um, by just banishing themselves from the grave just to get them out just like that. Um, and just OTK. So annoying and infuriating. Like, I didn't play against them that much, but, um, yeah, I've had a few horrible OTK experiences with this deck. Um, uh, and it wasn't fun. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. I'm just thankful that, uh, Zodiac Strident and um, Barrage got banned. Um, another archetype that I hate. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't have anything else to say about them really. Number 43, Dark Lords. Um, as it's just basically another lockdown deck. Or at least that was the case. Like, before they got the support in, uh, what was it, Rise of the Duelist? Um, but yeah, when I played against them before, they did too many things that stopped me from being able to play. Like, it was, it was annoying. Um, it's not really the Dark Lord monsters themselves I have a problem with. It's two of their traps, Enchantment and Rebellion, plus Hope Harbinger and Vanity's Fiend. Um, cause, yeah, because um, yeah, they just set up for Vanity's or Hope Harbinger or both and just disrupt my plays with Enchantment and Rebellion. Um, and I've already expressed my hatred for Hope Harbinger in another video. Like, Superbia makes Hope Harbinger too easy to bring out and just negate my spells. Um, and it just set up for Vanities too easily. Like, I don't even know why Vanities Fiend was even in the deck anyway, because I feel like it just defeats the whole point of Dark Lords, which is to spam out a bunch of beat sticks. Um, and uh, just set up for other high level Dark Lord monsters. I'm pretty sure there's one that gets an effect if it's Tribute Summon, but I can't remember which one it is. Like, it's been a while since I played against them. Um, and it's like, okay, you shut down my special summons, but now Dark Lords can't do what they're supposed to do. Either way, like, Vanity's Fiend is annoying. So like I said, I hate cards that shut down special summons. And then there's Enchantment and Rebellion, which have also pissed me off. Like, Enchantment has robbed me of victories and comebacks too many times in the past. Like, uh, I'm able to gain the upper hand, and it's like, cool, I attack the game with this monster, and they're like, nope, Enchantment, I take your monster. Fuck, I can't finish you. Then they just steal control away and I just end up losing somehow. And then there's Rebellion which just pops a card at any time pretty much. Um, especially on one occasion where I used my Red Dragon Archfiend deck but I couldn't play because Vanity's Fiend was on the field. Um, my only defence was a Dark Resonator and I did see a Fiendish Chain thankfully which I used um, on the opponent's end phase and um, negate Vanity's effect, but then come my turn, Rebellion gets activated and pops it, and it's like, oh, come on! I can't catch a break. But of course, like I said, they did get support in 
Rise of the Duelist, including a fusion, which is kind of a bit random. It's like, why are they fusing now? Um, but I haven't really seen what the newer ones can do. Um, so maybe they play a completely different strategy now. I don't know. Uh, but I'm not willing to find out in case it's even worse. Um, screw Dark Lords. Number 42, Lunar Lights. Now, I've expressed my hatred for Lunar Lights before. Like, it's simply because Leo Dancer and Kaleido Chick exist. Like, um, like, all they ever do is OTK with Leo Dancer. Like, that's it. And Kaleido Chick makes it too easy to set up for Leo Dancer. Um, and just do some bullshit OTK plays with it. A power boost or no power boost. Um, regardless of whether there's any other monsters out. Um, <clears throat> and Kaleido Chick makes it so I basically can't defend myself in the battle phase. Like, I just get caught off from doing absolutely anything. Um, which is just fucking bullshit and completely unfair. Um, like, if Leo Dancer and Kaleido Chick didn't exist, I wouldn't have a problem with Lunar Lights. But of course I do. And just, even Leo Dancer by itself is just an annoying problem, which is hard to overcome. Like, that bastard has fuck all weaknesses. Um, like, there's only a few ways to get rid of it. Just destroy it in battle. Sorry, that was a video saving. Uh, destroy it in battle with a stronger monster. Uh, storming mirror force, drowning mirror force, um, or just spin it away with Rainbow Neus's effect. Um, I know it's a problem for Dark Magician, because like I said, it struggles against monsters with targeting immunity, especially if they also have destruction immunity. Um, but, you know, my Dark Magician deck has been able to beat Lunar Lights before, uh, I needed specific cards to do it with, um, Drowning being one of them, just Apprentice Magician being dropped on a Dark Magician, um, or I just get out a Dark Paladin and try and get its attack points over 3500. Same with Amulet Dragon, where I have to banish at least seven spells, maybe even a bit more if, um, Leo Dancer is getting a boost from Tenki. Um, yeah, um, they're just annoying to play against. Um, of course, to be fair though, there's only two Lunar Light monsters that I do like. Um, Blue Cat and Cat Dancer, because, well, they're cat monsters which I play in my cat deck. You know, just to fit the theme, like it's not the same as playing a proper Lunar Light deck, they're just extra options to play. Um, but I sort of know how to fight them at least. Um, whenever a monster is set face down, it's almost always a blue cat. I mean, to be fair, it's not always a blue cat. But I have to assume that it always is, because I don't want to attack into it and let the opponent float for another Lunar Light. Um, or if I do want to attack it, I, I want it to be with Utopia the Lightning, or something similar. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Number 41, you send you basically another OTK deck, but this one runs Degenerate Generic Floodgates. Um, you know, like Necro Valley, Macro, D Fisher, because, well, let's face it, um, it doesn't care about the graveyard at all. Um, but otherwise, the Senju monsters by themselves are just fucking bullshit and annoying. One of them 
bouncing a card just like that and just using the other another one to boost another one's attack points attack directly or just uh, attack with a whole swarm until I'm left with nothing and then of course there's that annoying pendulum monster they play just to add insult to injury and protect them from mirror force um, yeah, they just aggravate me too much um, yeah, it's a stupid bullshit anti-meta deck like, that's all it is really um, never likes them and I never will um, that's all there is to say about them and that's it for this part um, uh, stay tuned for part 3 when I count down numbers 40 to 41. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.